want to know three reasons why you want to live in Stewart or why you should, then stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Natalia Reinhardt, Realtor with eXp Realty, your host of the Treasure Coast. And I talk about where to live, where to eat, and where to play. And so if you wanna stay in tune with the area, then subscribe. I post videos on the regular. Let's talk about Stuart. This makes sense. Just top three reasons why you should live in Stuart. Numero uno, top reason why you should live in Stuart. The bright line is coming. Choo choo. <laughs> no, in, in serio, for real. That is a huge reason. It gives you so much accessibility. Now, let's talk about a little bit about Brightline if you're not familiar with it, which would be shocking if you live in Florida. If you're not from Florida, here you go. Brightline is a high speed train and it connects Miami to Orlando in just a few hours. Typically driving is about four with traffic, it's only five, but on the train, it will be shorter. Now there are already several stops. You have Aventura, Boca Raton, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, and Orlando. Coming soon, folks. It will have a Stewart station. It is planned to be up and ready come the end of 2026. This is huge for the Treasure Coast. We've been wanting one. We know everyone else like around us wants one too. It's one of those things like it was more like a matter of where and finally they announced it come March. So yay, win, a win for Stuart. Now here are the pros just within that, you know, category. One, it's in the heart of downtown Stuart. And so you will have all the access to the beach, you will have access to fine restaurants. They have amazing playgrounds nearby. I, there's gonna be one right across the station. That's phenomenal, phenomenal. It has three different playgrounds within one. It's, it's great. Um, obviously, it's downtown, so between the shops, you have the Lyric Theater. So many possibilities, even including the farmer's market. So hop off the train and you get to all of that without having to Uber or anything. You don't need any of that. It's all there in downtown. The second best thing, which is what most people think of, is the accessibility, the proximity. And so if you're living in Stewart, I already have some clients coming from Miami wanting to live here since they announced March 4th, <laughs> that they will be building here the station because now they feel that they can connect easily to Miami. They don't have to make that two hour drive. They can just hop on the station and they'll go see family. And so you do have that proximity, but you also have the accessibility. You know, I don't have family down south. So it's one of those situations where I'm like, well, there's things I want to do. There's concerts, there's games, you know, whether it's, it used to be called, called AAA Arena, but you know, I know it's something else now, <laughs> whatever it is. You know, there's all sorts of things happening in Fort Lauderdale and in Miami-Dade, obviously West Palm too, and now I don't have to drive. Same thing, you wanna go to Disney World, you wanna go to Universal, hey, the Bright Line is there for you. Numero dos, affordable housing, that's arguable. But let me just tell you the numbers and you decide, okay? <laughs> so we do have new construction coming or it's already here and there's a lot of it. And the idea, the theory behind it is you can get a newer home or a new construction home for the same price as what a single family home is currently around that's older, right? A 40 year old home versus a new home for the same price, you'll probably go for the newer home. That's the theory. So when it comes to the average sale price of a single family home in Stewart nowadays, it is 668,619 as of March of 2024. That's way above the average for Florida. Just keep that in mind. With that said, they are, because of new construction, the price is supposed to be lower and there are some prices. I would say 
there's two things you should keep in mind. The first, these new construction homes are supposed to be lower than what's on the current market for an older home. Okay, that's great. Can't say how much cheaper or affordable, but that's where the argument is. The word affordable is very loose. <laughs> Um, and then you have the type of home that's being constructed. They're mostly two-story homes, whether they're single-family two-story homes or townhomes. That's what I've seen the trend to be. There are some apartments coming, not incredibly happy myself about it, just because it seems like a lot of them are one-bedroom homes. How does that help? You know, so. I'm not seeing the logic to that one. If you're going to do apartments, why not do two to three bedrooms, etc. in my head, but I'm not there. Therefore, I'm just telling you, there's no construction happening that's supposed to be affordable housing. In comparison to maybe South Florida, it probably is more affordable up here. Nevertheless, if you want to learn more about different areas on the Treasure Coast, then go ahead and watch this video right up here. It's a small introduction to the Treasure Coast. And you can always reach out to me if you just want to discuss real estate needs and wants in this area. Numero tres, we have the small town feel. And it's true, Stewart absolutely has that feel, which in turn translates to it's slow, it's chill. And if you are single, want the nightlife, you know, and mess around, no, this is not the place for you, okay? It is not. So as a pro, why it's great to live here is if you're retiring, if you want a slower pace of life, if you want to raise a family here, like the suburban type of life, then this is a great place to consider, Stewart is. But with that said, it's not just about it's slower, it's also what's accessible. All right, if you love to fish, you must know Stewart is the sale fish capital of the world. That makes a huge difference in just what is here, what you can do. There's so many possibilities on the ocean, on the river, on the lagoon. So technically we have three different bodies of water. It's phenomenal. And so there you go. You know, you're welcome fishing, scuba, snorkeling. You, you have it all. You really can, you know, just chill on the beach, different signs, have different things to offer. So for children, you might want the Indian River Lagoon on that side because the waters are calmer versus go surfing or wind kite surfing, all that stuff on the ocean side because you have the waters and the wind for it. It's great. Now golf, yes, Stewart alone has golf, 14 different golf courses. The majority are private, but you still have a few that are public. And so that's there for your taking, lots of golf. A big one that you really don't know until you're here is art, it's culture, yes. <laughs> We have eccentric people here that, you know, it's just, it's really surprising on how much there is between farmers markets, you know, there's different festivals. It's great. You also have um, the Elliott Museum and I have a video here on them. They're phenomenal in promoting and pushing and offering different ways to get in touch with art, um, whether exhibits or artists, um, just so many things that they offer in, in events too. So check them out, they're phenomenal, also in Stewart. So folks, you have three huge reasons why you should consider Stewart for a place to live. Highly recommend it. It has its pros and it definitely has its cons, so stay tuned for a con video, an updated one, because I will be very honest in that one. I really will be. All right. So if you're interested to learn more about Stewart or the surrounding areas, feel free to reach out to me, schedule a discovery call. I will love to talk to you about real estate. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you out, then please give it a thumbs up. My name is Natalia Reinhardt, Realtor with eXp Realty, your host of the Treasure Coast, and I will see you around town.